working class areas and others are living as it were the natives and their lives are utterly distinct and you know up there they're having they have comfortable central <laughs> european lifestyle and in the next over the next three four weeks 70 80 percent of barcelona's business industry and commerce is taken over by the workers it has been described Chomsky, for example, as the greatest attempt in worker self-rule in history. The tour starts in Plaza Catalunya. There we talk about the, how the military coup is... We put, talk about the context of the Spanish Civil War cause, very briefly on the cause, and how the military coup is actually defeated in Barcelona, and also about the popular Olympiad, which is also taking place at the same time. Then we move down the Ramblers and we talk about the revolution which is unleashed as a result of the military coup and George Orwell's impressions of this revolution. Uh, then we carry on down the Ramblers, we talk a little bit about the, the social context of the revolution, the social conditions of the workers in Barcelona in 1936, which you have to understand to understand the ferocity of the revolution, the ferocity of the events. And everywhere we see everyone's wearing these blue overalls, Man and woman there, football, there, arm in arm, both of them have got rifles. And this is look of expectation of hope in their faces. There's an expression which was repeated often by Dorothy, which was, we carry a new world in our hearts. We then move into the Gothic quarter, we talk about the darkest times of this revolution with the anti-clerical violence, etc., and the reasons behind it. And we we contrast the violence on the on the side of the Republic the disorganised violence with the with the state-sanctioned terror on the nationalist side or the fascist side. 1835, we have the burning of the convents. Uh, for example, the Boqueria Market is the, tr the real name, the full name of the Boqueria Market is the Boqueria de San Jose. It's on the site of a convent of San Jose. The Seu Opera House is on the site of a burnt convent. A number of squares in the centre of Barcelona are on the site of burnt convents. Then we have 1909, the Tragic Week, which is a rebellion against the military call-up, which degenerates into anti-clerical violence, when most uh, many churches are burnt. In fact, many churches are burnt actually two or even three times. 36 is the final act. We then carry on to this to a square, which uh, has been recently they've recently found the name. But from the Civil War from December 1936, La Plaza del Melissia de Sconacult. We then go on to San Felipe Neri, which is where one of the biggest bombing atrocities took place when 42 people, mainly children, were killed in early 1938. We then moved back to the Ramblers on the way back. We passed by La Batalla print office, which, is, which was the Pums newspaper, which gives us an opportunity to talk about, well, we talk about. Um, put the Pum as an anti-Stalinist party uh, and why Stalin wants to destroy them. We then get back onto the Ramblers, uh, talk about Orwell's time in Aragon and then the fateful May days, sets the match. The dressed as German paratroopers. The whole story came out, we've known for a long time, but the whole story, the true story came out in the 1990s when the Moscow archives were opened. And they kidnap Neil. They take him to another house in the same town where they torture him to death. Because what they want from him is a confession that he is indeed a Moscow, um, Nazi agent so they can mount a Moscow-style show trial here in Barcelona.